Hey, Larson, congratulations. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, so obviously the Giants were at the Senior Bowl, and, and I'm, I'm curious, like, how, how much did you talk with them there? Do you remember those conversations? Like, what was your impression of the Giants when you when you met with them? Yeah, at the Senior Bowl, I just had a brief, um, you know, 15-minute interview, just like any other team there. Um, didn't really get to know them much as more um, intimately with the other coaches and uh, people on staff until later we had some Zoom meetings. Um, but, you know, yeah, first impression, I just, I just know that, you know, New York Giants is, you know, a great, historically great organization. And, um, you know, I'm excited to be able to contribute to uh, what they have. And, and you, I know you, were, you arrived in Northern Iowa, you were like really thin, like 215 pounds, or whatever it was, and you put on all that weight. Like, what, how would you describe what this journey has been like for you going from that skinny kid to being drafted by the New York Giants, which has a pretty rich history of pass rushers, obviously? Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been a process. I mean, you know, I've had to um, you know, take advantage of each day early on when, you know, I wasn't getting a lot of um, acknowledgement or recognition. Um, it, was a, it was a process where, you know, I was just like kind of working in the dark and just making sure that I was getting the most out of every day. Um, you know, it, it's it's been a, a whirlwind the past few months and um, I'm excited to, you know, just kind of take that same approach when I get to New York is just, um, you know, making sure I'm getting better every day, not letting days get by where, um, you know, I'm not getting better because if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to be a part of New York. Tom Rock, Tuesday. Ellerson, uh, you know, you, you, technically you called an, an opt out from last year, but that, that's clearly not what happened, um, uh, you know, until, until the spring anyway. What uh, what was it like having that that senior season taken away from you? Yeah, I mean, it, it's tough, you know, because your senior season is what, what you look forward to, um, you know, f for all four years, really. Um, we had a great group of guys playing together in Northern Iowa. And, um, you know, we really had a chance to make a run for it this year. But obviously, um, you know, with COVID and everything going on, that's the, you know, obviously not the worst thing that could have happened to me. So, um, you know, I just try to, you know, go with the flow and uh, understand that it is what it was. And I had no control over the season being canceled. So I just wanted to make sure that I was making the most out of my days, um, you know, continuing to work towards the senior bowl and our pro day. And, and what, how important was that senior bowl? Because nobody had been able to see you on the field since December of 19. Yeah. I mean, it was huge. I think, I mean, at that point I was, that was the only film I had where I played around 260 and all my other film I was around 240, 235. So um, I just wanted to show teams I could play with a new weight. Um, and just show them that I was working hard on, you know, my body and my game, uh, that I that I'm like able to contribute to an NFL team at this point. So that was a yeah, it was it was a, it was a important week just because you know I didn't have the the film like everyone else had from the uh, 2020 season. Thank you. Thanks, Matt, Matt Lombardo, fan side. Hey, Larson, congrats, man. Thank you, man. Hey, so obviously being 6'6", six, six, you have a size advantage, you know, off the edge over a lot of tackles. But is there a, a pass rush move that's kind of your go-to or one that you've really refined and, you know, uh, th think is your best trait? Yeah, I think there's a – there's a, I, I, I like to work moves together. I love a good bull rush. Um, you know, I think I think my get off is what starts all my pass rush moves. Um, you know, I like to threaten offensive linemen off the jump, um, get their feet moving and, you know, really get them scared of my length and my – um, and my get off. And then from there, depending on what the offense tackle is giving me, it's either going to be a bull rush or I'm going to take the edge or come underneath. Um, you know, I, I love pass rushing. I have a lot of fun doing it. Thanks. Hey, Valentine, big blue view. Hey, Ellerson, congratulations. Just wanted to ask you, um, the Giants also took an edge rusher in the second round in Aziz Ojolari. You a little bit surprised to land in New York, and, and and how much do you know about the about the edge rush situation with the team? You know, I'm not. You know, I'm not surprised to land in New York. I had a you know a decent amount of meetings with them before. Um, you know, their edge rush situation. You know, that's that's something out of my hands. I'm excited to get to know the guys. Excited to work with them. Excited to get better with them and try and make, um, you know, try and just make the pass rush better as a whole unit. Um, don't know much about Aziz, but I, I'm sure he's a great player, and I'm excited to get to know him and uh, get after, get after work, get to work with him too. Thank you. I'm Kenevin AP. Hey, Ellison, how you doing? Good. How about you? Good. I I have a question. I was reading your bio. How much football have you played in the last like five years? Because it seemed like 
16 and 17, you didn't play. 18 was limited and 19 was a big season. I mean, so is it only two years and like in the last five? Yeah. I mean, honestly, I mean, I was other than practice, which I, I treated as those are my games because that's what I needed to get better at um, my first few years of a college. Um, you know, I, I played, I started one year, then I, I was in a reserve pass rush role my sophomore year. So um, I just like to make the most of my opportunities. And I was able to do that within my junior year. And I think that's just a, um, a result of me treating those first few years like those are um, playing seasons for me or preparing for se- preparing for every game throughout those seasons. Um, so okay. I think I was ready at that point. Okay. And one just go a quick follow up. I noticed you blocked two kicks. Mm-hmm. Are you, we're we talking about place kicks and you're coming up the middle, I assume? Yep. Yep. Just right on the, right on the ball, just getting off, driving dude back. And yeah. Thank you. Yep. We'll take two more. Pat Leonard, Tom Rock, Pat Leonard, Daily News. Hey, Ellerson, of course you're being drafted as a pass rusher here, but have any teams asked you to play tight end or tell them or told you that they would like you to, because I know you're such a well-rounded athlete. You did it in high school. Is that something the Giants and other teams talk to you about? Um, no, not the Giants. I heard a joke about it, uh, but no, nothing, no, no serious talk about me playing tight end. And, and real quick too, I know when the season was canceled, I think you entered the transfer portal, but then pulled your name out. What were those couple weeks like and how, what was that specific decision like for you? How did it go? How did you come to the decision that you were just going not to transfer and just not play? Yeah. Um, honestly, that was one of those things I was out of my hands again. Um, I entered the transfer portal. A few days after our season got canceled because I thought it would be best for me right. um, to, you know, be able to boost my stock at a bigger school or maybe, uh, yeah, just find somewhere to play because I knew I wanted to enter this draft. Um, but I, after um, the FCS canceled their season, entered the transfer portal and um, was talking to some schools, had some schools in mind, and uh, the FBS canceled or postponed their season for that brief little stint there, those brief, brief few weeks, like, a day after I was into it. So at that point, everything was so up in the air. I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to declare, um, start training for the pro day and uh, senior bowl. And that's, that's kind of how it happened. Thanks. Yep. Last one here, Tom Rock, Newsday. Ellis, just, just real quick. Uh, you know, I know you're from the Minneapolis area. Did, did you know Carter, do you know Carter Coughlin at all? I know he grew, he grew up there. Though. Yeah, I actually, I actually don't. Um, but not personally, I played against him in high school, football and basketball. Um, I know he's a great athlete. I know he did great things at uh, the University of Minnesota, and I'm excited to get him known uh, in New York. You probably Thanks, posted sir. him up pretty good. What was that? You probably posted him up pretty good in basketball. Uh, I wasn't very good at basketball. <laughs> so I, was, I was a wrestler most of my life, so played basketball a little bit later. I know it's funny because I'm 6'6", but not, not a basketball player.